Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is that this lens is not interchangeable, mainly because this is a compact camera. So, um, to turn it on, you have to press this button on top, and the lens will extend. This is a little low on batteries, so it might shut off. You have your flash, uh, your viewfinder port here, your flash here, this is where you take pictures, and you got your, uh, and you got your four times optical zoom here, where you can customize the zoom. Yes, and so, um, it has 5.0 megapixels. You can also take videos. I think it's about five frames per second. Uh, the video quality is not that good, so I do not recommend this for making videos. But for photography, it's a pretty good camera. Uh, here's a dial where you can choose like the settings. Um, you can't really adjust many manual settings, this being a compact camera from a few years ago. So you got video, stitch fix, stitch assist. A uh, night snapshot, night uh, um, m night scene, landscape, portrait, auto, program, and manual. And I do have the um, the aperture currently set on a thing 2.6. And and then so if you want to take a picture, then you just press this. And uh, it has this nice strap here. Uh, the camera comes with its own case. Uh, pretty small um it has a slot at the bottom for like batteries this is a digital camera so there's no film that goes in it and here is the screen digital screen so you got um a thing where you can switch between wait, um where you can switch between a uh, camera and um library like you can go to the camera or you can see your photo library Personally, uh, one flaw I do have this with Switch U is that every time you switch, it asks you for the date, even though I've much previously set the date and saved it, but that's just a minimalist detail. All you have to do is press this. To turn on the flash, you do this, as you can see. And then if you want to turn off the flash, you press this again, and then you can see no flash. Uh, another issue is that, maybe because it's an older camera, sometimes it flashes the low battery sign, even though it's not on low battery. This is on low battery, but... So, if you're in your photo library, uh, you can hit, uh, this, which you can erase, if you want. There, I don't think that there is any real photo editing software, um, aside from... Aside from this, I guess, but I don't think that's really photo editing. I don't know. There, yes, again, with the video option, you can take videos. But the quality of the video is not that good. And... Yeah, so, um, here's the zoom thing. You can use this to zoom. Uh, you use this to zoom. This to take a picture, and then here's uh, this. Di here's the menu. You see, it's just a normal menu. And uh, then you get the file button where you can transfer it to a computer. It works pretty well. It has space for a memory card and two AA batteries, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, you can go to manual mode and manual mode. And this button also helps you change settings. Like I can adjust the aperture from 2.6 to 5.6, but I like it at 2.6. If you don't know, the aperture is how much light you let into the lens. And you can also adjust the shutter speed and stuff. And all this, all this jazz. So, yeah. And you have a, an auto setting. 
which does all this stuff automatically. It senses. Uh, and a portrait. Now, uh, this, the sensor isn't that big. It's mainly comparable to, like, a phone. But, um, yeah, all in all, that, that is the end. This episode is a little short, but it's the first episode. Oh, um, wait. You got a Canon zoom lens, uh, four times zoom lens, from 5A, uh, two millimeter, I think. And you got this little strap, but... Okay, that is the end of the first episode of James Pigeon's Tech Reviews. Goodbye. Okay.